Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Nick the Frog video, where today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your character into a model so you can use it in your Roblox games. For example, if you type in like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a famous YouTuber that might be on here. Um, I don't even know. How about this? My user names this. For example, if you search my usernames this and models, of course you're gonna find a bunch of them. Am I right? You're gonna find a bunch of my usernames. And you're probably wondering how do you get your character into the models? For example, if you type in Nick the Frog. Of course, nothing's going to come up because I haven't created it yet. But what you want to do is you want to click... Is you want to hold shift. This is only if you're on a laptop. If you're on a desktop, you just press the key I say. Either press F... What you want to do is press F5. Or if you're on a laptop, press shift F5. What that will do is that will start the game. You can see I'm in the game right here with my little sword. What you want to do is on the side on your explorer, you want to open up your workspace. And as you can see, my character model's right here. So if I start moving around, you can see the character model starts moving. What you want to do is you want to do Control C or con Command C on Mac. Or what you want to do is right click. And click copy. Once you do that, press stop. Then what you want to do is... What you want to do is... This is if you're, if you're on Mac, you want to do command shift V. But if, you are on one, or if you're on Windows, what you want to do is control shift V. Boom. Now we got my character in here. You can see now we got my character. And now you're probably wondering how do you make this into a model? What you want to do is you want to left click on it or right click on it and go all the way down to the bottom, which it says save to Roblox. Once you click that, it will open up a menu like this. Obviously, you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it like the frog for now. A character. I'm just going to do this a character model of Nick the Frog. You can do it by me. You can do it me as in, like, yourself, or you can do it in a group. You can see all the groups. See right here. And what you want to do, if you want it to be a model people can use, turn on Allow Copying. And make sure you set, like, what type it is here. If for some reason, um, the thing you want doesn't really show up, I'll just put Tutorial. But if something doesn't show up, then you can just leave it as all. Click Submit. <laughs> Wait for it to upload. Takes a few seconds. And once it is uploaded, what do you want to do? If, you, if this was your... If you created this as the asset as me, what you want to do is click the X. Well, I'm not going to click the X because I, I'm going to click the X, but I'm just going to say, if you set it as a group, make sure you click this link and buy it. And then reset your Roblox Studios. But if you basically have, like, set it as me, what you want to do, press the X here. What you want to do is click on the little My Model tab here. Wait for it to load in. Boom, there it is. See this thing that says Nick the Frog? If I really quickly delete this Nick the Frog model, click it, boom. Now we got a random Nick the Frog in the game. And you can do this with any Roblox character. If you want to get a different person that is not yourself, 
that is a little bit more tricky. What they're going to have to do is you're going to have to install a plugin, which I have left in the description. It is called Load Character by Already, Pla Already Pro. So what do you do is you once you click, once you've installed it, click on it. Or if you, for some reason, can't find it in the description, if I forgot, what you want to do is come to the model tier, scroll down to plugins, and it should be the first one here. As you can see, it shows the check markers have owned it. You can see I have a lot of the plugins here. But yeah, what you want to do is once go to your plugins tab, press load character. It'll pop up this little menu here. What you want to do is type in the username you want to. For example, I'll do my friend. As you can see, it will show their avatar. What you want to do, if you want an R6 of them, or if you want an R15 of them, you click it. If you want them to spawn in the normal spot that you would normally spawn on the game, click Spawn at Origin. If you don't, leave it off. Press R15. Take a second, and it's in. It's that simple. But yeah, I will make sure I link this plugin in the description. And thank you all for watching this video. And I will see you guys later. Bye, everyone!